Welcome back. It's day five of 18 in 2018. Today we're talking about break queues. A break queue is a shortcut to creating a block queue. If you tell a queue to be in break mode, it means no values from a previous queue can track into it. It works a lot like if you were to block all of the values in your queue, but it's faster, easier, and saves show file size. First off, let's back up our show and rename it to reflect the day. You can grab the download from the link in the YouTube description or at my website, consultrainer.com. Let's look again at this simple sequence from yesterday. To make this change easier, I want to remove the commands we wrote yesterday so that our chase isn't triggered. You can grab both cells, right click, erase, and click please. Great. Let's take a look at these cues. Q1 turns on the Sharpies and the colors and positions I established in the setup queue. Q2 just turns on the auras. The color and position information was already stored in the setup queue. Now play Q3. That adds in our quantums on the floor. Simple. For this example, let's say we want to make changes to the colors of the Sharpies in Q2, but we don't want it to track into Q3. Right now, if I was to grab the Sharpies, change their color and store that into Q2, then when I play Q3, the color would track through, which is something we didn't want. Sure, I could store this as Q only, or we could block values in Q3, but today, let's look in the Q list window and find the mode column, locate the cell for Q3, and right click it. From the drop down, pick break. That just told the console to look at the hard and tracked values of Q3 as they are at this moment and not let any changes that we now make to the earlier queues track into Q3. Let's try it. Play Q2. Let's grab the upstage Sharpies, make them white, and now store that into Q2. Make sure to clear out when you're done. Now play Q3, and they return to the red color that they were initially because we put that break mode on. You can now make any changes you like to any cues before Q3, and they will not track through. I really like using the break queue when I'm doing a show that calls for a single queue list operation, like a theatrical installation or a variety show with multiple acts. It's especially useful in those single queue list situations when you're working out of show order. I can establish break queues for the tops of each of my acts and then edit the acts before it without any worry that the information from a previous act will affect the next act. I also love that you get that extra hard line above the queue. Not only is it a good indication that you've applied this mode, it also helps me locate the tops of acts when I'm scrolling through a longer sequence.